Hey guys, welcome to this video where we are going to learn how to create a broadcast campaign. A broadcast campaign, if you remember, it's something that you either send right now or that you schedule uh, in the future, but it's really just a single email usually and you are going to be using it for various purposes. As we said in the introduction, it's going to be here for new blog posts, it's going to be used for webinar invitations, it's going to be used for single promos, and it's going to be used for new lead magnet release. So that's really the four types of broadcast you're going to be using in this system. Obviously, you could be emailing about other things like announcements about your website or just new products that you released. And you could be emailing, you know, several times about the same topic. So uh, this is really just a guideline. Feel free to broadcast more than the four types that we're going to talk about. But the templates that we're going to give you, there's four of them and they should be covering 99% of your needs. So now let's just talk about the mechanics of sending a broadcast email. If you remember properly, because of the way we've set up opt-ins, people are opting in into our segmentation list. And so we are going to be emailing that segmentation list. That segmentation list is the bulk of the people. It's basically the people that are waiting to be buying stuff from you that are not receiving emails unless they trigger a retargeting campaign. Uh, they are just waiting for you to email them. And so what we are going to do is first we're going to prepare templates. Templates are quite important. They're going to speed up the way you send your broadcast emails. You don't want to be like formatting content every time and so on. It takes time. So if you actually take some time to build your templates, emailing is going to become much easier and you're going to do it much more because, you know, it, it's less of a headache. So click on the manage template button first, then click on create new template, give it a name. Uh, in my case, I'm going to call it, I don't know, webinar invite and pick the newsletter. Pick a very, very simple template, one column. This is what works best on mobile and you really don't want to touch anything else. Now it's just going to open the editor and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to be editing, you know, the way you want the text to look, maybe put your general call to action and so on. I am not going to build all your templates, but we have written templates that you'll be able to like format and edit and then use them as templates inside your active campaign uh, system. I have mine already, so I'm going to be using these when I actually show you the rest. But basically you can just use the editor. Uh, usually I like pushing the font size to 16. I like to change to Verdana. I like to increase my line height a bit, etc. Um, so you feel free to actually just edit it and build your templates. Build one for each type of email you want to send. I recommend you go and check the templates that we have and then decide, okay, I want these three build a template for them and then go back. So I'm just going to go back. Once you have saved your emails and you can see like it would be here, I'm going to delete it in that case. Then you can go back into campaigns and you can create a new campaign. Now you have a choice here on what type of campaign you want to send. A standard campaign is basically a one-off email that you send to people. An automated email is basically like a sequence and you should not create it from here. You should be creating it from automations. That's why I don't recommend you use that. Same with the autoresponders, keep it, use automations for that. Database can be interesting, but same, you should be using autoresponder for that. RSS triggered is not a good idea. So really the two we're gonna be using is the standard email, just sending an email, and split testing. Split testing allows you to either test the content of the email or the headline of the email. And it's quite interesting, especially when you're gonna be building, you know, automation or run this campaign several times. It allows you to optimize your open rate, your click-through rate, and so on. So in this case, we're just gonna create a standard campaign, but if you actually wanna be testing things, you can be creating a split testing campaign where the only difference is instead of being able to put one uh, subject line, you'll be able to put two subject lines. So you'll be able to create a second body and then the system is going to be sending half and half and let you know which one worked better so that next time you send that campaign, you can pick the winner or run another A-B test against another variation. So let's just pick the standard one and call it demo in that case and just click next. Then what happens is you actually choose who you are going to send this to. Now remember, we are segmenting our list in different ways, but in this case, this is a segmentation email and segmentation emails do not need to be segmented. But if you wanted to, you know, send a broadcast email that's only sent to people who have the SEO tag, for example, right? Uh, or whatever you do inside your site. So I would pick my segmentation list and you can see that's 9,006 people, 8,906 people, sorry. And then what you can do is you can create a new segment and then I'm gonna call it SEO. And then you can just create conditions where you pick tag 
and tag exists and you can pick for example uh, well in that case maybe I'm just gonna take you guys I'm gonna take active pro member and then if I do that well actually it's gonna be a lot less people I'm gonna be emailing because I have picked my sub segment okay and so that's how you are able to create a sub segment and broadcast specific offers to specific parts of your list so and, and I could actually just change it again so but in this case I am not gonna pick a segment I'm gonna assume I want to email my entire list so no segment but you know how to create segments and that's why you want to tag people with interest when they click on links when they actually visit pages when they do all these other things and so later you can just go and create segments for your main lists and actually email just a subset of the people and send targeted offers this way you could be emailing all day and people would not all get the same emails and I'm just gonna click next then you have to pick the design that's where your templates are useful as you can see I have a few I'm gonna assume I want to email a blog post in this case so I'm just gonna use this design and here you can just put your name the email that you want to send as uh, you should probably put an email where people can reply so that's actually my email uh, and then you just put your email subject line here and so I'll be putting new post and I'm just gonna pick uh, the exact same one I did last time so how to uh, also studious marketing task for five dollars on Fiverr and that would just be a blog post then I'm just gonna click continue and then we are gonna be reaching the editor and in the editor well it's a little bit like a Stripe content builder maybe not as good but you can actually build around the template that you picked and you can see that because I have a template you know the email is pre-built already and that's the power of building templates you're gonna save a lot of time if you pre-build your templates sadly I cannot build them for you because you cannot import them so sorry you're gonna have to build your templates but it's worth it so what I would do is I would probably replace the image with my uh, cover image so you just click on that button then you click new image and then you would be able to upload your image and then just choose the image once you have it and you can see that the image is gonna change and then once you click on it you can put the link to your blog post I'm not gonna do it here but um, now if people actually click on that image that's gonna take them to the blog post then I would write a little bit of an introduction explaining why this blog post is important I would highlight the URL here like put the exact URL and we have been running tests and actually uh, using raw URLs in this case is actually better than using buttons I know that uh, active campaign has buttons and you could be putting buttons here but they actually don't work as well they don't get as many clicks so I recommend for formatting your links I recommend that you actually take the link you make it blue because blue is the color of backlinks you make it bold and you make it underlined so it looks like a link you put the raw URL and then once you have selected that you can actually make it a link by clicking the little link here and then once you put that that's actually a clickable link so write your introduction write the outro and you will have all of this inside uh, the template so you'll be able to copy paste that uh, customize your signature don't put my name uh, put a PS if you want and there's a bit of a lesson on PS and so on and that's basically it one thing that's quite important as well is this space here so if you want to get less unsubscribes uh, you know you don't want to put your unsubscribe button here because that's basically the final call to action It's basically pushing people to unsubscribe that's why we actually add a spacer here and we put like 300 uh, of space or something so that there is no unsubscribe button right here people can still unsubscribe but it's not like right in their face when they're done reading the email and that's gonna reduce the number of unsubscribes you're gonna get by quite a lot now the width 650 is pretty good for mobile uh, it works pretty well for us and then here you could actually be sending yourself a, a test email and so you can just click here and you're gonna be able to see what this email looks like in an inbox and that's pretty good if you want to make sure that uh, the email looks good on mobile and it's not broken etc uh, you should also be optimizing the mobile stuff automatically here and that's basically it then you click on next and you're gonna reach this summary page where it's going to uh, let you show everything that you've done basically so it's gonna be uh, the subject then the list well I actually pick people in SEO so it's like people in my segmentation list inside the SEO sub segment which in this case was pro members because I didn't do it properly when I showed you but that's basically you guys um, then I'm going to be tracking the open and read I'm gonna be tracking the link clicks which is quite important and what I recommend is that you tick the Google Analytics as well and what this does is it creates 
campaign links for every single backlink inside your email. And so you can actually track the traffic you got from every single email you sent and you can see which ones drove more traffic. Now, if you don't want to be emailing right now, what you can do is you can actually schedule your email and here you can just pick a time. Uh, you could be like next week at which time, etc. And that allows you to, you know, prepare your broadcast emails a week in advance, a month in advance and so on. And then basically just take a break and uh, not do it. So it's really good if you want to batch your work, essentially. Then what you can do is you can actually uh, preview what this email will look like if you actually buy some credit. I actually don't use that, I just send it to my phone and that's basically it. Or you can just click on the desktop preview and you will see what this looks like as a subscriber. So this email looks like that, it looks good to me. Uh, the link would be clickable, I didn't make it a link, but otherwise that would be it. And basically when you're done, you click finish and it's gonna send your email or just add it to the schedule if you created a schedule, right? So that's basically it. A last thing you need to check is the spam check. Now, the spam check is never gonna be perfect. What you wanna make sure is that you're below three points. So above three points, you're gonna have deliverability problem. But in that case, for example, I have a lot of, a lot of image because my image is big compared to the text and so that flags it a little bit. But 0 0.6 is not a big problem. If I was above two, I would probably start wondering and that's gonna matter if especially you talk about free stuff, if you talk about making money, all these other things that uh, flags you as spam sometimes. So Active Campaign is gonna actually check it for you and tell you if you have a risk of being flagged as spam. And so you can go and edit your copy and so on if there is a problem. So that's basically how you create a broadcast email. It's very simple. Now the next lessons, I'm actually gonna talk about templates of broadcast emails that you can use to uh, you know, drive people to your new blog post, to send them to a webinar, to make an affiliate promo, and to promo a new lead magnet. And with these four, you'll be able to cover a lot of things that should be going on with your website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next lesson.